You're looking at my sales and profit report opened up in report view and down below you can see that all my records are grouped by the book title. So for my pizza combinations I have all the clients who purchased that book. And what I want to do is I want to be able to force a new page for each group. So the pizza combinations has its own page, page one, the haunted places, page two, and medical billing, page three, and so on. To force a new page for each new group or each new section here, I want to come up here and change the views by right clicking and, and going down to the design view. And the reason why I refer to them as sections is because within Design View, every bar that you see here when it comes to forcing a new page is a section. So if I select the Details section and I force a new page on that section, that means if I have a thousand records within my report, each record is going to have its own page or it's going to force a new page for every record. And I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to be able to force a new page for each group. So I'm going to select the Book Title Header section and you can see down below in my Group Sort and Total pane that the book title field here has the grouping applied to it. So it's grouping all these records by book title. And again, if you don't see this down below, if I close out of it, again it's up here, Design tab, Grouping and Totals, click on the Group Sort button, click on it again to remove it. Next I need to bring up the property sheet for the section that I want to be able to force a new page on, and it's going to be the book title, so all I have to do is double click on it real fast, the uh, bar here, and it brings up the property sheet tied to that section, again the Group Header section. On the Format tab, come down to where it says Force New Page and change that to Before Section. So before this section is going to force a new page. You can also do it after the section or before and after. For the details on this, again, you can click within the cell here and then hit F1 on the keyboard and it'll bring up the Help Online here from Microsoft. You can scroll down and it gives us the uh, details. Before section, the current section is printed at the top of a new page. After, the section immediately following the current section is printed at the top of a new page. And then before and after. In any case, you can read that. I'll show it to you here. So before section, so when I right click and I test this and I go to my print preview, every group ought to have its own page. So page one, pizza combinations, page two, haunted, page three, billing, and so on. Now if I change it to after each section, what that's going to do is that after each group title here, like in this case Believe and Grow Rich, after that it'll force a new page. So the title will be on one page and all the records will be on another. So let me right click and go back to the design view and change it to after. Change my views to print preview. See there it is. It forced it after this section. So after this section, the actual header title, it dumped all the new records at the top of the next page. That's why for me the before section works better and maybe you do want the title on the first page and all the records on the second. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.